Amanda, our lovely bachelorette in red. And Danny, stand up. Oh. Our lovely female bachelorette in plaid. One of these two ladies needs to find love. So audience, by, by a round of applause, Amanda, raise your hand. Who wants to see Amanda find love tonight? All right, who wants to see Danny find love tonight? That was incomparably very difficult to do. All right, so Amanda, you're going to be our bachelorette for tonight. Amanda's going to leave, she's going to close the door, and while she's outside in the soundproof booth, which I assure she will enter herself into when she passes <coughs> the door confines, we as a group are going to establish who our lovely contestants on this dating show are tonight. Look at Mark. Mark is our man in yellow. Mark is slick back. He is handsome. Who do you fine folks want to see Mark play to find Amanda's affection? A drunken mall Santa. I like drunken mall Santa. Do we have anything else? Drunken mall. Guys, wacky. Have fun with it. Drunken mall Santa. Mark. There it is. A leprechaun. I like leprechaun. Okay, leprechaun, Mark. You're a leprechaun. Thank you. That's not. Wait, is this real life? This is real life, and he's just going to channel his inner leprechaun. Josh, our bachelor in the same plaid print as Danny. No. When I don't give costume choices, this is what happens. Who do you want to see Josh in the beard play tonight, guys? Pretty, pretty princess. Oh. oh. <laughs> Josh, I like it. We're a pretty, pretty princess tonight. And Danny, who are we having Danny play tonight, guys? Start channeling Beetlejuice, I'm Danny. Jealous. Here we go. We have our three contestants. Da, 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 da. Welcome, Amanda, to Truth or Crab Sequences, the dating game where you are most, most assuredly going to get some sort of STD, but it's up to you which one you get. Amanda, we have three lovely contestants for you tonight to pick from. You're going to ask them a series of questions, and you're going to get to know them better, and you're going to take one of them home, and hopefully not get crabs. Go ahead, Amanda. Here's hoping. Okay. Hmm. Bachelorette number one. What would you say is your ideal date? Oh, uh, well, uh, <coughs> it'd be anything where you definitely say my name, if you know what I mean. <laughs> huh. Okay. Someone likes validation. <laughs> uh, if you say it three times, it makes it even better. Okay. Um... Bachelor number two. Yes. Big question. What is your ideal date? My ideal date would be with a strong, handsome individual who would sweep me off my feet, take me dancing, and just have a magical night. Well, I am strong, but I prefer the word beautiful as opposed to handsome. <laughs> And I do love to dance, so you have that going for you. Bachelor number three. Yes. What's your ideal date? Boy, my ideal date. <laughs> oh. Well, I'll tell you one thing. She'd love to play with me lucky charms. <laughs> <laughs> Bucket number three? No, I've got a port right here. <laughs> okay. I don't think I'll be using that one again. Uh, okay, as long as the crew doesn't have to clean anything. Oh, up later. Tar, 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 tar. Not quite the dancing I would have in mind. <laughs> Your dancing stinks. I got some great lime and coconut songs to dance to. <laughs> Bachelor number two. Yes. If you could have any food in the world and never get sick of it, what would it be? Mm. I would have to say Turkish delight. <laughs> oh. 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 I just, the finger food, it's delicious. Hmm. Bachelor number three. Oh, she just keeps going. What would you say is your adult beverage of choice? Um, Irish cream? <laughs> <laughs> I hear it goes great with cereal. Ah, uh, let's yes. see. Yes, it does. I hate cereal! <laughs> and bachelorette number one. What's up, toots? 
What is your favorite time of day? The witching hour. Hmm. Again, anytime you say my name works for me, though. Like, let's go. Amanda, are you ready to guess who your contestants are and see who you're taking home, or do you want to take a lightning round stab at any of these fine folks to get a little bit more info? Who's talking? Who's talking? <laughs> you know, some extra questions wouldn't hurt. I always like to get to know someone before I bring them back to meet my family. That's boring. Go ahead. <laughs> number three. Lucky number seven. What's your favorite holiday? Hmm. My favorite holiday, oh, let's see, um, hmm. beer fest, I mean, uh, let's see, um, uh, oh, um, the one with the, uh, oh, uh, the saint, 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 Christmas day, no, oh, yeah, don't mix me up, I'm gonna get you, <laughs> <laughs> you seem quite mixed up, to be uh, number one, same question, favorite holiday? Halloween, I guess? Ooh, it's coming up soon. Yeah, you should go with me. Stripes and bugs and... That is an easy costume. I do have several striped things. And lastly, number two. Coronation Day would be my favorite holiday. <laughs> huh. Okay. All right, uh, Amanda, take a stab at it. Who are you going home with tonight? Well, the drunk Lucky Charms guy <laughs> is not exactly my type. I don't want to have to worry about taking care of anyone. You're lost, Toots. <laughs> we'll need you. And everyone loves a pretty princess, but I'm yeah! sorry. <laughs> Number two, I am too high maintenance for you to be high maintenance. <laughs> Well, I don't worry. <laughs> I guess my lucky date for the evening would be Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Oh, Toxie said the magic word. <laughs> Nicely done. Way to go, guys. Awesome. All right. Woo. Is that okay?